Hello, everybody, and welcome to this course. So, um, this is an introduction to computer programming, and we'll be using C Sharp as our programming language here. My name is Luis Peran, and I'll be your instructor in this course. So, this course is geared towards absolute beginners. Um, so, if you know nothing about programming, you're in the right place. Uh, this is the first video. So I'm going to start by showing you how to install Visual Studio, okay? Uh, lots of people ask me how to do that. Some are uh, uncertain about some of the steps. Uh, so let's get that out of the way first. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up my browser, whatever browser you're using. Uh, let's go to Google. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to search Visual Studio. Current version is 2019. And most likely the first link is what you're looking for. Um, make sure it's a link from Microsoft. Um, so yeah, so you're gonna click that. And here we are. Um, now Visual Studio has a couple of different versions, right? Um, so there's a community version, which is free, uh, especially for students and op open source uh, projects. There's a professional version, adds a few more features, um, and it's, it's not free, it's actually paid. And then there's the enterprise version, which is for, for bigger uh, corporations. Um, people are working in teams and so on. For what we'll be doing, the community version is good enough. Uh, it's actually very complete. Uh, it's, it has been incorporating features from the professional and enterprise versions in the past couple of years. Uh, so it, it's great. Uh, so that's the option we'll, we'll go with. Uh, mind you, however, that Visual Studio 2019 is not the same thing as Visual Studio Code. Okay, those are two very different things. Okay, um, so Visual Studio 2019 is an actual IDE. And IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. Visual Studio Code is, is more like a text editor, but it's, it's kind of a fancy text editor. You can actually install extensions to it and there are other features as well it's actually a very good piece of software um, it's it's like notepad plus plus but it's uh, in my opinion it's actually much better um, so another thing that you have to be careful here is you have to download visual studio for the operational system that you're using uh, in my case i'm using windows so the website automatically detected that and it highlights the windows version for me okay uh, if you're using Mac, this is the version you should download. So the website should be responsive and automatically highlight that for you. Uh, but I just want to want to make sure that we're all downloading the right version for us. So again, if you're using Windows, download the Windows version. If you're using Mac, download the Mac version. I'm using Windows and I'm going to download the community version. So I'm go just going to click this link. And my download should start shortly. There you go. So what happens here is that when you, when you download this, you're not actually downloading Visual Studio per se. You're downloading Visual Studio Installer. So you have to run that, and uh, it's going to ask you a couple of things, right? Um, in terms of what are the things that you'd like to install. So, so let me show you what happens there. I'm going to minimize this, and there you go. I'm running the installer. So what are the workloads that you have to select? Well, let's take a look at them. We're, we won't use all of them in this course, but I mean, if you're interested in, in C Sharp and .NET, um, these are kind of the basic things. That I, I think it's the, the bare minimum uh, that you have to install so that you can properly work on other projects. So we won't necessarily work with all of them in this course, but these are things that will be useful for you in the long haul, okay? So first one, let's install the ASP.NET web development. I don't want to do Azure development. Uh, maybe I want to do Python. It's always good to have it in there. Node.js, um, desktop development, yep. If you want to develop desktop applications, that's one you have to select, yep, why not? Uh, Universal Windows Platform, yeah, that's that's awesome. Uh, mobile development with .NET, hmm. I don't think I want to do that, so I'll, I'll skip that one. Uh, gaming, so if you're into gaming, 
uh, if you're a gaming student, uh, these you're, you're gonna have to install these things as well. Uh, I'm not into gaming, so I'll just skip these. Uh, what else? Data storage and processing. Yeah, why not? Data science. Hmm. Not really. I don't want to develop any exten extensions uh, to Visual Studio. I don't want to do any Office or SharePoint development. I don't want to do Linux development. Uh, .NET Core cr cross-platform development. Yep, I definitely want that. So here we go. These are the basic workloads that I have to install, and it's about 20 gigs. So I have to make sure that I have that space available to me on my machine. Um, yeah, so let's just go ahead and click install. So what's gonna happen now is that the installer will download and install the workloads that I've selected. Now, this is gonna take a while, so let's fast forward time. So there you go, you've installed Visual Studio and you're good to go. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.